Welcome back, guys and lasses. Jewel Death Lucario here, and welcome back to some Pokémon Tournament DX Lucario action. Been a while since we played some Lucario, but we're getting back into the original main, the original boy, the original lad. And we've got Blastoise up first. It is Japanese, so hopefully the connection isn't too bad. Okay, I can do anything about that. Nope. Can I just do that? Force Palm! Okay, this man's just gonna randomly wrap it spin. That was meant to be a X. Now, can I get my Force Palm this time, please? Thank you. I guess man's just gonna rapid spin on me for no reason. Well, I've got Jirachi. Oh, what? Jirachi? Okay, I matched that Jirachi so hard. I can do this roll. And I got that with punish. Okay, so this is going to be a lot of rapid spin. It is a little laggy, so I'm just going to have to adjust. I'm just going to have to adjust to the net play. And just deal with the rapid spin, because rapid spin is true punishable for Lucario. He can punish it on block every time. I tried to block that. Hey, to watch out for forward Y. Okay, he is just gonna wrap a spin. He does not care. When will you learn? I can true punish that. You still could have punished that, by the way. That's very laggy. I don't care. Have I been hit? Nope. I'm fine. I actually got the whiff punish on that move. That's what I wanted. And you're done. Boom, boom. Get him! I know I can also 5Y to get maybe a better punish, but not in the slag. Like, Rapid Spin, I can 5Y Y. If they go for another Rapid Spin, it just react with V-Speed. If I hit Confirm, I can go into Force Palm, but not online. <laughs> not in lag. Oh, I mess offline so much. The fact that is, another thing I was doing, I'll just chat a little bit. You'll notice that I was trying to go for a lot of 6Xs for whiff punishes, because I've been working on something off camera, some of you might, some of you who follow me might actually know what it is, like follow me very closely on Discord will know what it is. But I've realised that Lucario's sex axes are the superior whiff punish to Bone Rush because, you know, you combo into Force Palm, you knock the opponent down for an Oki, you do more damage, but unfortunately online that's a little harder. I did land, I did try to whiff punish something with sex X. hip, the sex X got blocked but luckily they just mashed and the Force Palm got them, but uh, and I realized Lucario is a better character offline. And I miss offline so much. Okay, unfortunately. Let's try this. There we go. And if he went for another rap spin, I'd be able to get an E speed. He doesn't understand what plus frames are. Okay, that wasn't. Okay, fuck online. Nice uh, drop combo. Oh, come on! Yeah, this is just Netplay Blastoise personified. I blocked that. So what am I doing? I can punish that with 6x. Oh, come on! I tried to back off. Netplay Blastoise. There we go. 
has not learned. And doesn't know about- uh, yeah, it doesn't know about anything's plus, like. This is Netplay Blastoise personified. A lot of, um, moves that I just can't punish or react on Netplay. Which is why Lucario is a better character offline, and again, I block that. Okay, that was dumb for me. I could have maybe splattered them onto the wall. Is that forward one hit? Yeah, it has. More rewarding than Bone Rush. Bone Rush wouldn't have worked anyway because of net play. Because, wait, it's got Burst Arm, not net play. Really? I'm plus four there! I know you have armor, but still, I could have easily just 5 wide and reacted. I don't have Jirachi and um, they've got defense boost, so this isn't going to do as much. No, oh, that took more sphere. Might as well get that. Doesn't matter, I can still true punish that. Okay, I could have. And you are. No, I can't! I wanted to E speed! That would have been a true punish! See, that's what I'm talking about. I can't do that online. Right, okay, just screw it and just press the normal buttons. E speed. What the fuck? He doesn't learn. E speed is hit. Rapid spin is his only way of getting someone off him. That's a little easier to do. Ha! <laughs> Big damage! Yep. He just pressed way too much rapid spin. Like, I get it, Blastoise doesn't have good defensive options. God knows I know, because I played the character for two years. I know he doesn't have good defensive options, but... Over-reliance on spin. I mean, there is a good defensive option. It's called blocking. It's just called holding the... R button. Okay, I'm gonna cut out this one, and I'll be right back with the next opponent. I think we're just gonna be fighting Blastoise all day. But seriously, just don't rapid spin as much, especially against Lucario. In field phase and dual phase, I can true punish him. I just hate that I can't go for my better punish, which is 5YY, and then react into either another rapid spin or force palm. The only thing that you could possibly do is jump. Like, if you spam jump, you might be able to get out of it, but it's not guaranteed. That just outranges you. Doesn't matter. I was waiting for that anyway. You haven't learned! You haven't learned. Like, you need to stop going for spin. I'm tempted to bust up my own blasters and just show them. It, you can go for that every time, it doesn't matter. That time I risked it. That's a better option because you're actually plus. But then you throw it all away. I want the force palm there. Oh my god, he does not learn. Burst! Oh come on! I was like, I don't have to take that. 
Like, he's not learning, he's still just rapid spinning. Not learning. Ah, fuck. I pressed 6x. Okay, we're not adapting. We're just. I mean, when I say I'm, we're not adapting here, I'm not gonna adapt. I'm gonna just keep doing what I was doing. I'm just gonna keep pressuring, and every time he rapid spins, I'm gonna punish him. I'm never gonna press anything, Camille. Wait. Yeah. If he countered, if he went for rapid spin or countered there for whatever reason, I would have gotten that. Okay, we're not. I'm not gonna press anything, Camille. If I press 8x or 5x, I get punished. Okay, I tried to block that. Wasn't fully charged, so he went plus. And you keep trying to mash after. So just make myself plus all the time. And beat and punish that. Okay, I mashed her. Try to back off. I'll take that. Ah, shit. Okay, you get that. That's why you actually want a 5Y. That's why you want the 5Y, because if the 5Y there, E Speed would have actually hit him. But it's hard to do. So I actually have to go for 5Y, because now he's gonna go for double spin. And if he goes for double spin, 5YY into E Speed will hit him. But now I have to risk me getting hit because it's net play. Which sucks. Which sucks. I really prefer. Like, these last few days I've learned that Lucario is a much better character offline. You're not punishing that. Now you can punish that. Wrong punish, bro. That should have just been a grab. I'm liking these 6x with punishes, though. Uh, force palm, okay. Okay, fair enough. That's one way to beat 2Y. Gonna pop burst. Back off, back off. Tried way too hard to beat that. I'm not pressing buttons. We're going over. Can I punish this? I can't get my shield broken. Since you tried to grab me last time. Boom, boom. Yeah, just play much slower. Just go for less committal moves because anytime I was pressing something committal like AX, I was getting um hit by a rapid spin. But if I press 2Y or 5Y, and maybe throw the occasional aura sphere from far away, nothing he can do about it. The only thing he can do, the only thing he was doing was rapid spin. And I was punishing. Yeah, it's annoying when you get a matchup where tr you can't true punish rapid spin. Which is another reason why I love Lucario. But another thing about the Lucario Blastoise matchup is that if he goes for like 5YY or 8Y and Shell Fortress cancels back out of range, that's good against a lot of characters, not Lucario. 6X will reach. So I get a 6X, get a Force Palm, get a knockdown. And even if they don't go back with Shell Fortress Cancel, I can still just 6x be safe on block and react to the follow. This is the only person who's online. We're just playing a lot of Blastoise today. But I like that because I get to critique what they're doing wrong, and what they're doing wrong is just relying way too much on Rapid Spin. Some people might think, oh, this is a horrible matchup for Blastoise. It's not that bad. It's not as bad as Shadow Mewtwo. It's not as bad as, um... 
Yep, level 3 Arsir blows through everything. And yeah, the bigger battlefield. I couldn't really do that on previous battlefields because it wasn't big enough. I don't care. Nope. Bubble doesn't scare me. I'm not gonna jump. If that was a level 3 or a sphere. If I hadn't thrown another Aura Sphere, you could have... Right. Yeah, his patience was dying. And look at that, I've got full synergy. Saw that coming a mile away, and I don't have to do anything here. Well, I can still get my cheer skill. Oh. I can still get my cheer. Yeah, that's another thing about this matchup. Blastoise struggles to approach against a Lucario spamming Aura Sphere. I couldn't use it on the last battlefields because they were too small, but on a standard battlefield or a big one like this, I can get away with it. And even if he CDCs it, I don't care, and just mix up your Aura Sphere timings. And I think now he's just running to get in, and I can take advantage of that. Air Aura Sphere tracks a little better. Oh, I did not expect him to just go in with that. Oh, come on. Yeah, I didn't expect them. I'd killed the patients that much. Really? I don't know why I didn't just wake up E-Speed. Flagger statistic. Killing the patients so you're just not walking, not blocking. Oh, oh well. And call my Rachi dash in. I wanted to dash, but wait, that's not gonna hit me. That's gonna hit you. And now one, two, three. Sit down. And you're dead. Yeah, I would say this matchup is slightly in Lucario's favour, but not majorly. It's not as bad as Sceptile, Shadow Mewtwo, Weavile, and Chandelure. Those matchups are borderline torture for Blastoise. But against Blastoise, he's like this, who I know they didn't do a lot this game, but they spam Rapid Spin. I'd actually rather go Lucario, because um, Shadow Mewtwo can't true punish it on block. Well, he can, but it's. It's a lot difficult. Like Shadow Mewtwo, he has two options. He can 2Y into Psy Strike, which will cause a clank if Blastoise goes for another Rapid Spin. So it'll cause a clank, and Shadow Mewtwo loses some red life, which isn't really worth it in my opinion. Or Shadow Mewtwo can 5Y into Psy Strike, which will win, but if Blastoise goes for Rapid Spin, Shadow Mewtwo again takes a lot of red armor damage. So ultimately. Shadow Mewtwo is getting really badly hurt in both interactions, even if he wins. So it's not really worth it. But again, Shadow Mewtwo should be in the position where he doesn't need to ever worry about Rapid Spin, because he can just zone Blastoise out with Pillar, and oh my god, this is a field day for me. That doesn't work. Level 3 Aura Sphere will go through literally everything. But because he's just trying to run in, he's not paying attention to side Y. Like, I know this matchup so well because I played the character. And because I have played good Blastoises. Level 3 Aura Sphere. Like, a level 3 Aura Sphere charges much faster than people think. Damn. 
I do feel a little bad because I love Blastoise. You know where they're getting that. I mean, you might as well pop it to get some synergy. Ah! That's fine. I've got a massive life lead. I can just take that. You can't do enough damage. And you just made a mistake. Block. I mean, you should have taken the time out well. I was gonna say because I get cheer, but my cheer's already maxed out. It means I can call Jirachi if I need to early on, but... If you've got no chance of win, don't let your opponent win. Just take the time out. If I was a little closer, that sideline would have hit. Like, the patience has just been killed here, so I can just... So he's just running into my attacks. Let, let anyone who said Aura Sphere Jump is useless talk to me, because it's really not. Especially if you can do it like that, do it really low. There's not a lot he can do here. The only thing he can do is get close and rapid spin on my um, Aura Sphere. Because Aura Sphere still has a lot of start up, it still has a lot of end lag, and that fucked up. That was meant to be a Fucking counter, I pressed the wrong button. Oh, I don't even count my bone rushes. Yeah, he's walking to the side a lot, which is good, but he's not paying attention to the sideways. And see there, he tried to counter the Aura Sphere, but because I was mixing up the timing between level 1, 2, and 3, it threw him off. And because he was preemptive countering, not actually reacting to the Aura Spheres. <coughs> oh, crap, I've got the Runa. Got the Runa virus. Uh, playing a lot. I know what's going to happen. I'm going to cut on between stuff and get a new opponent, but it's just going to be them again. Uh, oh well, which is, this is going to be the Blastoise Lucario video. I'll cut on between stuff, be right back next time. Okay, okay, this was all funny. So, after I cut out the last one, it took me a good 10 minutes to find an opponent. I think, I thought at first, oh god, I scared the Blasters offline, but I think they had to walk away for a break. Look, I'm not going to say that this is a bad Blasters, because they're C2. They're C2, they're pretty mid-level with the character, and I just know what to do against Blasters, and they don't know what to do against Lucario. Which I think is their biggest problem. I mean, I like the sidewalking, but you're not paying attention because, well, Blastoise's sidewalk isn't that great. And I can just do this. Oh, we didn't dash into it, but now I can back off. That doesn't matter because, again, level 3 Aura Sphere pulls through it and I can still just sidewalk it. So I can sidewalk you. Yeah, you're getting buffs, but look at your health compared to mine. This still does chip damage, and you're not, um, dodging them all. I don't care if that happens, like... If I have a life lead, why would I need to approach? Speaking of lead, let's get this. We'll get some free mirror. Why not? Do that from a little- you're too far away! Like, if you catch me charging an Aura Sphere and you forward Y because that could catch me, or you rapid spin from up close, that could catch me, but from over there, it doesn't matter. Look at the timer! And I've won this round by timeout, and that's another reason to use Air Aura Sphere, by the way. It's a good anti-air. And I've won. I'm just gonna get some free synergy. I have full burst. Like, I will admit, even though this is an advantage in this matchup for Lucario, that his zoning is good, it's not that good. Blastoise can still get in. This opponent just doesn't know how to get in. You should be getting into rapid spin range. Walk and block until you are in... Don't throw that back, back Y. Why do I need to approach that? I don't. And zoning me isn't going to work. My projectiles go much further. They blow through everything you've got. You should be trying to get into rapid spin range. If you're in rapid spin range, I can't throw aura spheres. Like... If you're there, then... Okay, now you're back a little bit. 
And once I've killed the patients enough, you start running into sidewise. See? I can just mix up my aura sphere timing. See, you're in rapid spin range, so I have to calm down. Now you're not in rapid spin range, back to aura spheres. Level 3 aura sphere will blow through everything you have. And I do admit, Blastoise's GY is pretty garbage. Of too wide. Don't care. Okay. I don't have to take that. Six X into E speed. If I went for a, a burst, I would have gotten hit there. But yeah. Like, I'm not going to yell at my opponent for not playing right, they're obviously not as high leveled and they don't realise what the hell to do, but that's my advice, just get into rapid spin range when I can't throw aura spheres. And once you're in close combat, and I'm right in your face, and I'm 2 Ying and 5 Ying you, you can't rapid spin, because E-Speed is just too big of a threat. I know they're not going to rematch me, but I might as well try. You hate to see it. Now, uh, that's it's that time anyway, so I'm going to come between stuff and be right back with the final opponent. And before it's the Blastoise player again. There is a shock. Alright, so this is going to be the final game. I want to say thank you all very much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed this video, feel free to let me know with a like and a comment. That'd be cool. If you'd like to see more Pokemon Tournament DX and Lucario action, then hit that subscribe button, ring that bell to turn on notifications so you never miss a video. Also, if you would like to have the chance to play Pokemon against me or hang out, check out my Discord server. Links in the description. I'm Joe Lucario. Thank you all for watching. GG's to the supporter, and thanks for sticking around even though I'm imagining I'm driving you mental. <laughs> See you on the next one. Bye bye. I think I'm not so tired. I just feel the pressure of the bad thing that I have in mind. I want it peace, I want it to be fine. I wonder why I can't adjust it for a while. I really want to see what it looks like. To have a moment, I know that it would be mine. When the wind is all closed, like a picture of a time. When the future is. Just looking for something I can make in another day Cause I'm